There's something very human about the desire to want to soar. I have a three-year-old son, and the first time he saw a plane, he looked up in the sky, he stared at it, and he was just amazed by it. It's about giving people the opportunity to do things in an aircraft that they maybe wouldn't have the opportunity for one reason or another to do in real life. People tell us that, oh, I could never do that. I don't know how to fly an airplane. We show you you can. Building an aircraft for flight is very close to building an actual aircraft. We can take seven to 800 photos of just the exterior alone, and then another four to 500 photos of the interior. The most important thing for me for the end user is to be able to nail the visuals, make sure the aircraft feel as realistic as possible. The instruments are the heart of the simulation aspect of Microsoft Flight. If I'm coming in for a landing on a foggy, windy day, I can't see the runway, I can use the right instruments to get that plane down safely on the ground. We've got our roots in Flight Simulator. We want to pull part of that legacy forward. And if the cockpit isn't for you, you can still have a great experience flying the plane from the outside. The sounds of the, the aircraft model in particular are taken from that actual aircraft. The switches, any motors, anything that's idiosyncratic to that aircraft. When I saw the A5 for the first time, I was completely blown away by the design of it. Its cockpit was sort of modeled after a luxury sports car. Well, I think you look at the A5 and you see the future of aviation at the consumer level. You see what flying can be. The Icon A5 was a, a perfect match for our vision. It's the airplane players are first introduced to during the free experience. There's no one else out there we'd rather partner with than Microsoft to try to bring aviation to the consumer and bring it in a fun, exciting, visceral, dynamic way. The level of attention to detail that Microsoft gave to this project absolutely stunned us. We work very closely with Microsoft to make sure that every detail that's in the game is representative of the actual airplane. Icon was able to provide us some CAD drawings. It gave us a model that was definitely more accurate. We went to their facility in Tehachapi, California. Put the aircraft down, put the mics up, start recording it. We run it through its RPM paces. We apply the appropriate decals. We apply the chrome. We apply the rubber for the tire everything that makes it feel like a real aircraft. They created basically a virtual game for us that we were out to then play. And then by playing and actually flying the airplane, we were then able to give detailed feedback. And that's how we were able to get the A5 in flight to be so similar to how the A5 flies in real life. The best thing about Microsoft Flight to me is the focus on the experience of flying, not about the act of operating an airplane. That's a fundamental shift. I can do things in the, in the game that I wouldn't be able to do in real life, but that I have a lot of fun pushing myself to do. You don't need a joystick. You don't need to use your keyboard. Okay, grab a mouse and go. Let your imagination manifest itself. I mean, let the dream of flying become real.